Step into a world where dust dances in the shimmering sun, and the rhythm of spurs against wooden planks creates a timeless melody. Cast your memory back to that unforgettable moment when the screen first illuminated with the 1960 cinematic masterpiece, The Magnificent Seven. Perhaps it was the anticipation that tingled like electricity, or the way your heart raced in sync with the galloping horses. Each frame was a portal, transporting you to a realm where honor and valor were the currency of the land. Do you recall the rugged faces of those seven heroes, each possessing a unique skill set yet bound by an unbreakable camaraderie? It was a symphony of personalities, a tale of disparate souls united by a single cause. And as their quest unfolded, did you find yourself perched on the edge of your seat, cheering them on through every showdown and strategic standoff? Those were the moments that etched themselves into your memory, the instances that made you a part of their journey. But now, let's journey beyond the curtain of nostalgia and into the realm of intriguing trivia. Peel back the layers of time to discover the hidden anecdotes that color the making of this western gem. From casting curiosities to onset escapades, these random facts paint a canvas as vivid as the sunsets that adorn the silver screen. So, as we unravel these threads of the past, remember your first encounter with those magnificent seven. The laughter, the suspense, the raw emotion, they all blend into a tapestry that still holds sway over the hearts of many. And as we delve into the unknown stories, let your own memories intermingle with the history of the film. Hold tight to that connection as we venture forward into a world where facts and fascination converge. Let's uncover the layers of the magnificent seven that time had tucked away, waiting for this very moment to be relived once again. The 1960 film The Magnificent Seven, directed by John Sturges, is a Western classic that originated from Akira Kurosawa's 1954 film Seven Samurai. The story revolves around a Mexican village plagued by bandits, whose desperate villagers hire seven skilled gunmen to defend them. Each of the hired men possesses a distinct personality and set of skills, creating a diverse ensemble of characters, portrayed by actors like Yul Brynner, Steve McQueen, and Charles Bronson. The film's unique blend of action, camaraderie, and moral complexity set it apart. Its portrayal of honor, sacrifice, and standing up against oppression resonated deeply, making it an enduring and iconic cinematic work. The movie's memorable score and dynamic cinematography contributed to its lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring adaptations, remakes, and references in various media. The Magnificent Seven remains a testament to the enduring appeal of courage and heroism in the face of adversity, continuing to captivate audiences with its timeless themes and engaging storytelling. The Magnificent Seven, behind-the-scenes drama and historical nod in the annals of Hollywood lore. The making of the 1960 classic The Magnificent Seven stands as a testament to the clash of personalities and the pursuit of attention that marked an era of larger-than-life cinema. At the forefront of this on-screen alliance were Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, whose competitive spirits birthed a one-upmanship that rippled through the cast, leaving director John Sturges in a state of apprehension. While Brynner's regal presence demanded attention, McQueen's charismatic energy proved equally magnetic. This dynamic rivalry between the two stars not only infused the film with an electric tension, but it also ignited a competitive fire in their fellow cast members. As the shoot progressed, the ensemble began to orchestrate their own stunts and show-stealing moments, vying for the coveted spotlight. Astonishingly, a significant portion of these attention-grabbing exploits made it to the final cut, capturing the spontaneous and unpredictable energy that defined the project. For Sturges, the directorial helm swiftly transformed into a battle to harness the unbridled creative forces at play. As the actor's improvisational feats escalated, he found himself wrestling to maintain control of the production. The ceaseless quest for audience attention had spun out of his grasp, offering a stark realization of the fine line between artistic synergy and directorial authority. A lesser-known gem within the film lies in the character naming, specifically Charles Bronson's portrayal of Bernard O. O'Reilly. The name, a subtle homage to Bernard O. O'Higgins, the valiant leader of Chilean independence, serves as a historical nod to the struggles and triumphs of Latin America's fight for freedom. O'Reilly's Hispanic-Irish heritage aligns with the multifaceted ancestry of O'Higgins, a fusion that bridges distant historical struggles with the rugged landscapes of the cinematic frontier. 
Behind the scenes, a casting carousel revealed intriguing twists of fate. George Peppard, who later starred in the film's remake, was initially in contention for the role of Vin. Additionally, the auditions saw young Gene Wilder vying for a spot in the ensemble. Fate steered them in different directions, peppered toward the remake battle beyond the stars, and Wilder into the satirical depths of Blazing Saddles, where disillusioned gunslingers took on a comical spin. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood's western epics, the magnificent Seven remains a jewel illuminated by the sparks of rivalry, historical homage, and serendipitous casting. Its enduring legacy testifies to the power of dynamic performances and the intricate interplay of talent both in front of and behind the camera. So, next time the iconic score rings out and the cinematic spectacle unfolds, remember the unseen stories that swirled in the shadows of the Old West, the fierce battles for attention, the echoes of historical heroes, and the uncanny twists of fate that shaped a cinematic masterpiece. In the making of the 1960 classic, the Magnificent Seven, a behind-the-scenes drama unfolded that was nearly as riveting as the film itself. As the cameras rolled in Mexico, tensions flared, egos clashed, and the script underwent a transformation that left one writer disavowing the project entirely. When filming commenced in Mexico, the production encountered a formidable obstacle in the form of local censors. These authorities insisted on alterations to the portrayal of the Mexican villagers in the film. Walter Newman, the original screenwriter, was called upon to travel to the location and implement these changes. However, Newman staunchly refused to comply with the demands of the censors. The task of revising the script fell to William Roberts, who took it upon himself to make the necessary alterations. These changes were deemed substantial enough to merit him a co-writing credit for the film. However, Newman adamantly rejected the idea of sharing credit and ultimately had his name entirely removed from the movie's credits. This contentious episode behind the scenes of The Magnificent Seven serves as a testament to the complex and sometimes adversarial nature of the creative process in Hollywood. It highlights the clash of artistic vision and external pressures that can shape the final product on the silver screen. In a twist of fate, it was these very changes that gave rise to the version of the film that audiences came to love. The script revisions, contentious though they may have been, played a pivotal role in shaping the narrative of The Magnificent Seven and contributing to its enduring legacy in cinema history. Such behind-the-scenes intrigue reminds us that the stories we see on the screen are often just the tip of the iceberg, with a wealth of drama, conflict, and creativity transpiring beyond the frame. The Magnificent Seven is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, both on and off the screen. In 1980, Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, two iconic actors from the 1960 film The Magnificent Seven, reconciled in a poignant moment. McQueen, battling cancer and reflecting on the past, reached out to Brynner to express his gratitude. What for? Brynner inquired. McQueen's response resonated with the history of their collaboration. You could have had me kicked off the movie when I rattled you, he admitted, but you let me stay. And that picture made me, so thanks. Brynner, the resolute king in both the film and reality, replied, I am the king, and you are the rebel prince. Every bit is royal, and dangerous to cross. McQueen acknowledged the significance of their partnership, saying, I had to make it up with Yul cause without him. I wouldn't have been in that picture. This reconciliation between Brynner and McQueen, who brought the characters of Chris Adams and Vin Tanner to life in The Magnificent Seven, encapsulated the enduring impact of the film and the camaraderie forged during its making. The Magnificent Seven wasn't just a cinematic masterpiece, it was a product of Hollywood's race against time. The film's production was marked by a frantic scramble to assemble its stellar cast before an impending actor's strike. To ensure the movie's completion, there was an urgent rush to bring together seven actors who would become legendary in their roles. The cast barely managed to unite in the nick of time, a testament to the film's remarkable resilience and determination in the face of industry challenges. While The Magnificent Seven garnered mixed critical reviews upon its release, there was one endorsement that held particular significance for director John Sturges, renowned Japanese filmmaker Akira Kurosawa whose 1954 film Seven Samurai had inspired The Magnificent Seven, was deeply impressed by Sturge's adaptation. To convey his admiration, Kurosawa sent Sturge's a ceremonial sword as a gift, 
symbolizing the profound impact of their cinematic connection transcending cultural boundaries. In the world of cinema, The Magnificent Seven remains an enduring classic, not only for its powerful storytelling and iconic performances, but also for the behind-the-scenes tales of reconciliation against the odds casting and international admiration. It is a testament to the indelible mark it left on the history of film. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, The Magnificent Seven, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound connection you may have forged with this cinematic gem over the years. This iconic film, birthed in the tumultuous 1960s, has resonated with countless souls, drawing them into its gripping tale of valor, camaraderie, and the unwavering fight for justice. Perhaps it was the indomitable spirit of the seven righteous gunslingers that stirred something within you, or the haunting strains of Elmer Bernstein's unforgettable score that still echo in your heart. Did you find yourself cheering on the brave band of defenders, each with their unique quirks and skills, as they took a stand against injustice? Or maybe it was the rich tapestry of characters and the complexities of their moral choices that left an indelible mark on your consciousness. However, your connection with the Magnificent Seven may be, we would love to hear your cherished memories, personal insights, or even the ways this film has influenced your own perceptions of heroism and honor. In a world that is constantly evolving, revisiting classics like this offers a chance to connect with our own roots, to tap into the enduring power of storytelling, and to appreciate the timeless artistry that transcends generations. Thank you for sharing this cinematic journey with us, and for taking the time to reflect on the beauty and significance of The Magnificent Seven. Your thoughts and memories are treasured, and your presence is deeply valued. Until next time, keep the spirit of this classic alive in your heart. Warmly.